Hello, what is up boys and girls, the great Potus here once again with another video. This time we are going to be unboxing the Elgato High Definition Game Recorder, which is sort of competing against the Hophog HD PVR at the moment. And the reason why, the reason why the hype is so tense right now for this device is simply because of this. So this device only takes the HDMI cable. So you don't really need the red, yellow, blue, green, white, other red. You don't need all those cables just to hook up your HD PVR to your TV. All you need is an HDMI cable. Pretty simple, pretty easy, not that hard. Now, so we're gonna open this up and I will show you guys more. So straight off the back here, we can see that you can see a TV that's connected to the HD, um, not the HD PVR, my bad, the Elgato Game Capture device. As long as the Xbox and the PS3 in the background, because this device does record for Xbox and PS3, not just one console only, which is great. So right when we open it up, we can see here the actual device. Pretty sweet, comes pretty nice, nice and neat. And this is why the hype is so big, right here. So all this takes is an HDMI cable and a USB cable. That's basically all it takes. It's not that hard, it really isn't much of a size packer. This is actually really small. I mean, compared to my MyTouch 4G, for example, if you want to compare it, it's actually smaller than, than the MyTouch 4G. Kind of sticks out here on the end. So this is a pretty small device. It is actually a lot surprisingly lightweight. It's not heavy at all. Probably like the weight of... I mean, not even, my, my phone's heavier than, than this thing. It's probably like a little bit lighter than a pack of cards, and a deck of cards. It's not heavy at all. It's fairly light so we're gonna put, go ahead and put this on the side so the hype is because it is only taking an HDMI cable instead of all the other cables now here we can see it comes with the USB cable which goes from this port to your computer so we'll put that here it comes with another cable which I'll explain this later this connection adapter sort of thing and of course an HDMI cable so Basically, it just gives you everything you need. You don't need to go out and buy a lot more things, such as if you played Xbox with the red, blue, and green, the component cables, instead of the HDMI cable, you have to go and buy out the component cable in order to, for you to be able to use it. This one, it already gives you what you need. It gives it to you. You don't need to get anything else. Simple as that. Great sort of thing. We're going to go ahead and put this aside so I can explain it further. So these cables right here are very important for the PS3 users. These cables right here, they are basically your HDMI cable. Because um, PS3 has that whole don't record stuff from my PS3 using HDMI thing, Elgato was kind enough to include the adapters that you need in order for you to record PS3 already included. You don't need to get anything else. All fully HD. If we can read the back of the box here, it says supports resolutions 480i, 480p, 576p, 720p, and 1080i. Now, the Elgato does not record in 1080p. Honestly, I don't know the difference between either one, but when I did see quality tests against the HDPVR and the Elgato, the Elgato seemed to look a lot more smooth and a lot more more crisp than the actual HDPVR. So I'll do a video later covering my opinion on the HDPVR and Elgato when they're facing head to head. And hopefully if you guys are looking to buy a gaming capture card, I can be of some assistance, uh, assistance, uh, assistance, and you guys can pick one. And personally, the reason why I like the Elgato, which is why I bought it, even though I already have the HDPVR, is look at the size of the Elgato. I, I, I compared to this, it's fairly small. Honestly, the HDPVR is about the size of the box. So you tell me what you would rather have. The Elgato is small or the HDPVR? Now, the size of the HDPVR doesn't really matter if you're recording at home. But if you want to go to your friend's house and record some of his gameplay or anything, easy. Put it in your pocket, done. Fits fairly simple in the pocket, not big at all. Also, HDMI cable. That's all it takes. You don't need much else other than this HDMI cable in order for you to record it. HDMI cable, Elgato, you're good to go. Another great thing about the Elgato capture device. For you guys that have the HDPVR, you guys know that it comes with a software that I believe is uh, comes from ArcSoft or something like that. Well, ArcSoft is not part of Hophog. 
Now, Hophog and RSoft are two totally different things, which means that the software used to record the HTTPR is not at all what is from the actual HTTP drive manufacturer and creator. Now, with the Elgato, whatever the Elgato, the manufacturers and the creators of this device actually were kind enough to provide an editing program, uh, a rendering program, and everything very easy to use. You guys tutorials on how to use it. And of course, I of course will also be showing you guys how easy it is to use the Elgato editing software and whatnot. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys think. HTTP Driver versus Elgato. A video will be coming out soon. Battle with the two together. Um, I'll probably put side to side images so you guys can see the difference between each one. And I will also give you guys my opinion. So let me know. What do you guys think about the Elgato? Do you think it's nice? Do you think it's a little bit um, useless? So, like, I know a lot of people think, oh, well, if I have my HTTP, why would I want this? It's smaller. I don't care about size. Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time, guys. Take care.